right, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a uh, quick pen builder video. Today I'm just going to show you a couple of quick changes we made to the flippers and why they might not function for you if you start up the game uh, right after this update 3.6.11. So here we are in a test table, and we have two flippers here on the play field. And on the left side options, you'll see that there is now a flipper max angle and a flipper rest angle. What you see right here are the flippers at their rest angles. So if we grab the rest angle of a flipper, nothing's going to happen unless we pick a flipper, right? So eventually, anything not applicable will be grayed out. So these should be just grayed out and inactive unless you select a flipper like so. And then when you grab the flipper rest angle, it'll move. And you can set that angle wherever you want, between minus 90 and 90 degrees. So zero is just this basic starting point. It's arbitrary. It doesn't really mean much. Uh, but it is, you know, roughly the angle that is the average. So this ghostly looking flipper up here attached to this flipper and you'll see that if we grab it and move it around it, it is attached to it. it's part of that game object or that component whatever we want to call that <laughs> um, and so what we can do is we can set the maximum angle that that flipper is going to flip now right now you'll notice that it does go below the rest angle and that's not good that'll just set up an infinite bounce problem for you so make sure you keep it up there until our next update when we will prevent that from occurring so right now i'm going to set this flipper to be really tight i guess let's just make it barely move and this flipper we're going to open up and make it really wide and we'll get a We'll save that, and then we're going to... Oh, look at that. See there? Sometimes we get a problem. Let's go see what that's all about. It could be that these angles are too close to each other, so let's just pull this one... Uh, let's pull them apart a little bit and see if that's what our problem was. Yeah. All right. Excuse me. So now, now you see that the flippers really, I mean, they do flop. You see there's a little slop at the end of that? That's on purpose. We did that intentionally. The higher and the larger the swing, the more flop or slop there is. Um, but it's also contingent on your uh, solenoid power. So this is how you can use these guides, uh, the, the ghost guides, to help configure where your flippers are and these angles as well uh, let's see 53 is a good number and zero is typically about right so let's just go there and there I don't know uh, if everyone knows or not but a lot of objects that you can select that have a solenoid that powers them or anything that powers them, this will show solenoid power multiplier. And you can tell the object how much power uh, or how strong you want that solenoid to, to be. And this is something that you could put a very small amount into. Let's see if that even works. I don't know if that's even going to work. Yeah, it's pretty slow. The power difference will be visible when you hit the ball, mainly. All right, let's see. The, another thing that we did that I wanted to point out uh, right now, real quick, is we added a uh, channel to an actual 3D channel to this playfield. So if we bonk the ball up there, you'll, you'll notice that it's sticking in this channel now. And let's get down here. If I can slow this down enough, we'll just scooch past the ball into this section here. And you'll see that curve uh, right there. So our balls are just going to, let's spawn one. Anyway, that's, that's the level of detail we're shooting for, is to just get as detailed as possible. 
there are some other little fixes that we're gonna do. We're gonna dial this all in, really. But anyway, that was all I wanted to show you. I I have been personally so busy working on this. I've spent literally every waking hour of my time working on this game over the past six months and getting update number three out, which was kind of really more of an update number two. I guess the first one was more of a hot fix. Um, is, uh, you know, kind of... It's been it's been awesome actually. I love working on this game. Anyway, just thought you should know what's going on here. These notes are available too in our patch notes on our Steam page discussions, and they are also available on our Facebook page too. So just look up Pin Builder on any of those, and uh, you'll find us there. So that's all for now. Bye.